Welcome to Alola is the name of the event, and you guessed it, lots of Alolan Pokemon are out in the wild. I'm Alex Gum, aka Chiclay, and welcome to Pokemon Go Ahead. Yes, let's go! Shiny Buizel! Oh my god! Yes! Oh my god! <laughs> Alola, I'm going to be starting with every episode saying Alola from now on during the season of Alola because, guys, it's the season of Alola, and we're starting our first event, which is right now. So I did some stuff off camera. I did do a Tapu Koko raid, and if I could pull up the clip, I'm just going to skip through. But I believe there was at least 10 of us in that raid, and it took about a minute to take down Tapu Koko. The IVs were really, really bad. So we might have to do another one, but we did get the Pokedex entry for Tapu Koko, the first legendary of the Alola region in Pokemon Go. Then we got another invite to a Rockruff raid, and we did a couple of them, and one of the Rockruff we got was a 100% IV. And also off camera, literally 30 minutes ago, on our fifth raid, we get a shiny rock rough. I was not expecting to get it super early. I was so happy. I made him my new buddy. I nicknamed him Blue's Clues. So now we have to get another shiny rock rough from a 10K or a raid. So that's what we're gonna do. Also, we got some other shinies aside from rock rough. We got shiny Exegator or shiny Alolan Exegator. Not a new one, but it's pretty dope. And we got another dog, and it was a shiny lily pup. So, yeah, we're doing pretty good. So what we're going to do is we have a collection challenge, we have a special research, and we have some Pokemon to catch, and we're also going to be shiny hunting because shiny Young Goose and shiny Rockruff, you saw the Rockruff earlier, but we're going to try to get shiny Young Goose, and if not, we'll at least, you know, catch it for the collection challenge. And then towards the end of the vlog, we are going to do some evolutions. Now, I'm going to do Young Goose super early because it evolves during the day, and then for Rockruff, I am going to evolve one of the best ones because I have a Hundo and a 98% IV. And then I'm just going to hold off on the Shiny just because I'm not sure whether we'll get a second one or not. But if we do get a Shiny Rockruff, we might evolve it into the Midnight form just because the Shiny one looks good. But I want to wait to get a second one so I could do both evolutions. But I do have a 100% IV and a 99, so we'll... 98, sorry, we'll do that. And then, yeah, we'll just get as many candies as we can and do all that because we're trying to get everything from Alola out of the way. Hopefully get Shiny Young Goose too. So join with me. It's going to be exciting. We're actually here where we can get Pop Leo and Young Goose. So be sure to subscribe to this channel and let me know in the comments below, did you get a Shiny Rock Ruff or a Shiny Young Goose? Your boy got a Shiny Rock Ruff. So we might have to go for another one for that other form. So guys... Let's get rolling. Oh, and we have two Pop Leo that just popped up. Okay, let's tap on this one. It's not my favorite starter, but you know what? We're going to catch it. Primarina is actually a pretty good fairy type when he evolves to its final evolution. So, you know, it's pretty good. Pop Leo, it's just kind of like, eh. Oh, I forgot to turn off my notifications, but that's okay. We're here for the experience, right? And that's the first one. And we have the Pop Leo for the Pokedex entry right here. Nice. And we got that much candy. Let's catch the other one so that we can get it out of the way. And then we'll catch the Young Goose. This is a lot better than the first one. But, you know, we'll have to IV check everything before we evolve because we can't evolve a zero star when we transfer three stars. That'd be embarrassing, right? I think the rarest. Because I've been checking this game, but I haven't caught anything. There's the Young Goose. It's Weather Boosted too. Nice. I wasn't expecting this one to be the first shiny, but... Oh, I forgot to give it a Pineab. If you could pop out, that'd be great. Or stay in the ball. That's cool, too. We'll have to catch a lot of Young Goose. And there is the Young Goose. Once we get enough candy, we will evolve it into Gumshoes. So hopefully we can do that before midnight. Oh, I do need to... Oh, I had to complete this first step. Tap on this, tap on this, we get another Young Goose. Okay, I'm going to give it a Pineapple this time. <laughs> and I think the other one, I could be wrong, it could be either an Alolan form or Picky Peck. It has to be one of those two. Let's tap on this, this could give us Picky Peck. Oh, it's an Alolan Rattata. Okay, I think that's later we get, um... No, I don't want to give you 
you don't deserve a pineapple. I'm also happy this Alolan Rattata is not shiny. I have like 10 of those. I don't need another one. And guys, we have arrived to one of the hot spots in Minden Park. There's a lot going on. There's a lot of lids in, a lot of Picky Peck. I think we need to catch Picky Peck first. Let's give it a pineapple berry just so that we can be able to have enough pineapples for all the evolutions. I see Poplio and Litten, but I don't see Rally here. But like, I didn't want to record catching a Rallet when there's like so many people at a gas station because I don't know. But anyway, Picky Peck is in the decks. Perfection. Now, ooh, there's a Litten right here. Nice. I love Litten and I love Rallet. Those are two really good starters. Um, and I can't wait for Shiny Litten to come out, dude. That white looks amazing, bro. Like, even when it evolves into Shiny Incineroar, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait till they announce that Community Day. Because, like, my favorite starter is Rowlet, but when it comes to a Shiny starter, it is Litten out of the three. Let's get this Picky Peck back here. I feel like I need to set this up so then I could be able to get, you know, some stuff perfectly fine oh gosh I never set up this camera like this before hopefully it doesn't fall but I'm gonna quick hatch I'm like a little cluster right here uh, there's another lit next to the servine oh we caught five Pokemon good to know in the Alolan decks perfect neat we needed to know that then another pop Leo did I not catch that Litten? okay yeah they're they're not wanting to stay in the ball all right, I say let's keep catching these off camera, and then when we see a Rallet, I will let you guys know. There we have it, folks. Rallet is right here, the final starter from the Sun and Moon games here in Pokemon Go. Bam! All righty. This is the starter that I couldn't even find, but I'm so glad that we got it. We just got to get a couple more for the candy, for those evolutions. So now that we have... Pretty much almost everything. We just got to continue getting more Young Goose. And once we do, we'll have the candy to evolve into Gumshoes. That'll be it for the collection challenge. As a matter of fact, oh, two K eggs are hatching. Oh, I needed a shiny male. If that was a shiny. And a Bunnel Bee. Okay, we got some Kalos eggs. Let's go. Um, Let's see what else we have to do. Oh, we completed all of that. We got to move on to the next step. What is with the lag today? I don't like the lag. This is not good. It's a picky peck again. Oh, I was expecting young goose. But, okay. I guess we can get another picky peck. Seriously, I don't know why this is lagging. I don't like this. I don't like how it's, like, giving us a lag. This is not good. Um, six normal types, three different species of normal type. Spin five pokey stops or gems. All right, so we just got to catch young goose, picky peck, and like three others, and well, actually, yeah, those are the three different species. So let's uh, see. There's a Starly. We can catch Starly. That's a normal type. It's a normal flying type. Guys, check this out. Jangmo O here in Carson, bro. I was stopping to get something, and on the way, I get in the car, and we get a Jangmo O spawn. Let's go, baby. Oh, I already gave it a Pineab. This is uh, the. A pseudo legendary for Gen 7 evolves into Como O, a dragon fighting type. So, guys, this is a win right here. Nice. We caught it. And let's check out the Pokedex entry. It is in. Yes, sir. Jangmo O. Right here. Let's appraise this thing. Uh, it could be better, but I'll save it for now because you never know. You never know if we get something different. Um, what is spawning? Okay, nothing good here. Whalmer Shiny? All right, guys, so let's see if I have any rare candies. Let's go to items. Rare candies. Only two. Uh, I'll just... Why the heck not? Oh, whatever. Anyway, guys, what else is around? Uh, all right. We'll just keep moving, but guys, oh my gosh, we got Jangmo. Oh, I was not expecting that. Let's go. Dude, real quick, there's a wild Gabite right here. Oh, the CP is really bad. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to give it a Golden Raz anyway. I feel like this is a level 1 Gabite. But the fact that we saw it in the wild is crazy. It would have been a lot crazier if we saw a wild Garchomp. That would have been crazy, bro. 
I don't know if it's because of these spawns during the season of Alola, but bro, that was crazy. Now, we do have another step to complete. They're all encounters. So let's check the first one. It's going to be Young Goose, and it's not going to be Shiny. We actually do manage to have enough candy. I just naturally just gave it a pineapple. I was going to say, we have enough candy to evolve a Gumshoe, and if we get a Shiny Young Goose, we can be able to evolve that too. Second task is also a Young Goose, and it's not Shiny. Maybe the third one could also be a Young Goose. It's an Alolan Raticate. Okay, I thought that was going to be it, but oh well. And then the fourth step, I don't know if it's autocomplete or we actually have to do something, but we are almost done. This is super easy to do. And honestly, you guys can get it done even way before June 1st. Like, you guys could get it done on like March 5th, March 3rd, March 2nd, right? Like, it's so easy to do. Alrighty, now that we got that completed, let's claim the stuff. We get our array pass, Stardust, and some XP. So what we got to do, and this is super easy, we got to send five gifts Catch 15 Pokemon and then win a raid. So we had to do another Rock Rough raid if there is one. And we have one that hatches in two minutes that could be Rock Rough. So let's catch this Picky Pack since we need the candy for it. Because we had to catch 15 Pokemon. I'll just give it a Pineapple before the candy. Because I really want that 2 Cannon. 2 Cannon looks dope. You'll see. Alrighty guys, before we decide to start doing some evolutions, we did catch... By random, a shiny Talo. I was not expecting it, especially since this is an Alolan event, but you know what? I'm down for another shiny Talo. All right, guys, so it is nighttime, which means we are going to do a couple evolutions. And the first one I want to do is I've decided I'm going to evolve the 100% IV Rockruff into the midnight form of Lycanroc. And I think I'm going to do the same thing with the shiny. So, Let's just go ahead and evolve this into rock, rock, row, row, lichen rock. <laughs> anyway, there's the lichen rock in midnight form. We will evolve it into the midday form in the morning, as well as Young goes into gum shoes to complete that um, research. So I'm gonna just change this into a hundo because again. This is the 100% IV Rock Ruff that we have finally have a 100% IV Lichen Rock. And let's get Blue's Clues out because I I just like the Midnight Lichen Rock shiny more than the Midday because it has that shade of blue. So we are going to try to continue to do some raids for Rock Ruff, not only to get another shiny, but we need to get some more candy in case we need to evolve the Dusk form when that is released. There is! Oh my god! The dark blue! Oh, that looks amazing, bro! Oh, that is so rad, bro. Oh my gosh. We have the shiny Lycanroc and the Hundo Lycanroc in their midnight forms. All we need to do now is evolve the other Rock Ruff. Let me just go Rock Ruff. We only have two left. I think in the morning we're going to evolve this into the midday. And then I just have an extra Rock Ruff just to save for the Dusk form. And we're going to continue because as you can see, we have at least 89 candy. So in case we get another Shiny Rock Ruff, we'll evolve that during the midday. And then if we at least get another one, we'll be able to evolve it. But we need to stack up on candy if we need to do that. But we have enough to evolve this rock gruff into the midday lichen rock in the future. Now, I want to do a couple more evolutions. This Litten right here is a 96% IV. That is a perfect IV to get an Incineroar. So let's evolve this into the Cat to then Incineroar. And there is the Cat. That is going to be a Pokedex entry, y'all. That's going to be crazy. There it is, Cat. Oh my god. I know it says Linda, but it's Cat. And we will evolve it again just to get the 96% IV Incineroar. Nice! We get an Incineroar in Pokemon Go. Who would have thought? That is crazy, yo. 
Alrighty, next evolution. We're gonna do Rowlet next. I cannot wait to see the Sidui. This is my favorite starter out of the three for the Alola region. And there's Dartrix. Nice. Looks super sharp. And that's a Pokedex entry as well. And finally, let's get this bad boy to the Sidui. I know it doesn't have the best attacks, but hopefully when it gets Frenzy Plant, it'll be a little bit better. But for now, we will have Decidueye right here. Oh my gosh, those feathers though. Dude, Decidueye looks so sick. I love Decidueye. This is awesome, dude. That is awesome. Finally, let's get the Pop Leo out of the way. It's going to evolve into Brion and then to Primarina. And that's the Brion. Nice, looks very cute. And there it is into the Pokedex. And finally, evolve it into the water fairy type Primarina. And there is Primarina. Alrighty guys, we officially have evolved all three starters to their final evolutions. Primarina is pretty much a mermaid at this point. I think this is a two star. I just couldn't, I mean it has a 15 attack. And has Charm and Hydro Pump. That's pretty good. Um... I think I'm going to evolve Jangmo. Why not? Let's just give it into Haku ha Hakomo O. Now, I don't have enough candy to get it to Komo O, but when we do, we will evolve it. And that's probably going to be in another episode, just because I just can't right now. But anyway, there is Hakomo O. I hope I said that right. Hakomo O. <laughs> Interesting name. And uh, let me see what else we are going to evolve. I think I'm going to evolve Picky Peck. Just to get it out of the way. Alright, that is its middle evolution. We have Trumpeak. And that will be in the Pokedex. Gotta love it. And we get two cannon. That looks super sick. Ooh, and it's like its beak gets lit up. That's dope. Alrighty. Now, we just only have to do two more evolutions. Well, three, technically. We gotta get more candy for this. We need at least like 99 more. We have to evolve this Young Goose during the daytime. And we also need to evolve this Rockruff. Specifically in the, in the daytime for the midday form. And I believe that will be it. So for now, let's go to bed. And then we'll wake up and do those final evolutions. And until we get another shiny, I think we're going to call it a video. And it is the following morning. What I'm going to do before we do the evolutions, I'm going to claim this Apex Shadow Ho right here. 1625. Now, I have to say, dude, it looks crazy good. Like the storm around its back and stuff. Let's use an Ultra Ball, actually. I don't know why I'm using a Pokeball. Excellent throw. Nice. All right. So, I think, because I've never seen it purified, but it should have Sacred Fire Plus Plus when we do purify it. And let's appraise this real quick and see. Ooh, it's a three star. Okay, I think I might purify it. Okay, let's just go back up here and hit Ho-Oh. And then I'm going to hit, no, not Power Up, sorry. We're going to hit Purify. And let's see what it looks like when it's purified. Also, I think it's going to be at least close to a hundo. That would be crazy. But, ooh, got that rainbow color in the background. I, oh, oh, oh. Yo, that looks sick, dude. I love it. Let's appraise this. 96. Dude, let's go. And it's 2747. I'm going to change this to 96. So I know it's a 96. Oh, dude, that's good. That's really good. And now, ladies and gentlemen, I think it is time to end today's video by doing some morning evolutions. So now that it's daytime, we can evolve this rock rough into the midday form of Lycanroc. And then I want to see if we can be able to see the shiny midday Lycanroc in the Pokedex since we have the shiny midnight Lycanroc. So anyway, there it is. That is the other form of Lycanroc. And all we have to do is wait for another Lycanroc for to come out. I'm going to change the nickname so that I know it's a Lycanroc and not a um, Rock Rough. <laughs> all right, and it's a 98% IV because it is a 98. And then the last thing and we're also trying to finish up with the collection challenge, is to evolve Young Goose into Gumshoes. 
This is the second to final evolution. We're going to have to evolve Hakomo O. I think I said it right. Hakomo O into Koma O later. But anyway, there's the Donald Trump weasel. <laughs> And it's in the Pokedex right here. I'm actually going to go to Pokedex and check out Shiny. And I'm just going to scroll all the way down to the bottom until we get to... Uh, there we go. Alrighty. So, this is the Shiny Rock Ruff. And it does look like you can sh see the uh, Shiny Lycan Rock in both forms. Because this right here, the Midnight form, we do have registered. And then with this one, when we get another Shiny Rock Ruff, We'll definitely evolve it into this one, and then, I mean, there's the Dusk form. It's not available, but we are going to save another Rock Ruff, save some candy, and we'll probably get, you know, another evolution, and then save some more candy in case we get another couple Shinies. Okay, I really need to, like, turn off my notifications. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. We will continue with the Alola experience. In the next episode, hopefully we get shiny young goose, maybe another shiny rock ruff, and if not, just enough rock ruff candy for, you know, the other evolutions and shinies, you know. And uh, we'll see if we can get enough candy to evolve Hakomo into Como. I hope I said it right. Hakomo, Akomo. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.